Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today I am going to be doing a tutorial on how I make my shaker envelopes. So this has been a highly requested tutorial. And so I am just going to get right into it. So basically all you're going to need is a bunch of sequins. A page protector, scissors, and your fuse tool. So today, unfortunately, I am not going to be using my fuse tool because my fuse tool is having issues fusing properly. So I have emailed We Are Memory Keepers, and it's going to take them a while to look into what's going on. So they have gotten back to me, but I don't know how long it's going to be until I can get a new fuse tool. So if you have one, that's great. If you don't, then all I can really suggest right now is double-sided tape. Now, I haven't tried this method yet, and I don't know if it's going to hold up as strongly as the fuse tool, but... That's how I am going to teach you guys today. So I got the tutorial from a YouTuber. Her YouTube channel is Crafting with Liller. And her name is Lily. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is really dry. So I don't know how well the double-sided tape is, but this is the way that I'm going to show you guys how to make the shaker envelope just this is a temporary fuse let's just put it that way so if you're going to use the double-sided tape because you don't have a fuse tool just be careful on how you use it don't put too much weight in it because I don't know how the double-sided tape is going to hold up so basically all you do first of all is you take your page protector and you face it this way and then you fold it about a little more than halfway so right until it meets the first hole there so I'll let you see what I am doing here so this is the full page make sure that this side is facing you and it is on this side so to your left not on your right. Okay, and then you are going to pick up the sealed part, and so basically the bottom, and then you are going to fold it up, and you just want to go just below that first hole there, and line up these fuse lines here. Okay, and then you just want to make a little fold there. So just fold it right there. You can even take your bone folder just to make it a very sharp fold. Just flatten it down. Okay. So once that is done, you open this back up. And then you open the top that is not sealed. And you open the whole thing up here. Okay. And you just pour as much sequins in here as you want. So if you want it full, then just stuff it. But remember, the point of it being a shaker pouch or shaker envelope, whatever you want to call it, is so that you can still be able to shake the sequins around. So if you stuff it to the max, they're not going to shake. So don't get too carried away if you like sequins just as much as Tina K. <laughs> I'm just going to put in that much. 
Okay, so then after that, you just fold it. Okay. And then this is the part where you would start fusing. So basically what Lily does, or crafting with Liller, she fuses here, even though it's been fused, but she just enforces it. So she fuses it right on that fuse line there. And then she also fuses it on the bottom just to give it that finishing touch. And then she also fuses it on the side. So if you're using your fuse tool, make sure that all of your sequins are pushed away from the side that you're fusing. Otherwise, when you fuse and let's say this little sequins is in the way, it's gonna get fused in and it's gonna look weird. And the same as the bottom, make sure that they're all pushed up. And this side as well, make sure that they're all pushed this way. All right, so we have that part of the sequins done. So I am just going to take my double-sided tape here and so at this point, since I'm using double-sided tape, I don't have to worry about fusing in my sequins. So I'm just going to do this. Like I said, this is my first time using double-sided tape to do this, so not really sure how this is going to work or turn out, but like I said, I don't know how long it's going to take to resolve my fuse tool issue, so I don't want to keep you guys waiting for this tutorial any longer. So even though Lily fuses in the bottom here, I don't do that, really, just because I don't fear that the sequins are going to fall through. So I just kind of leave that out of the way I make them. Okay, so then they're both sides are taped down. Still looks like it could work. It's holding up. Okay, so you have all your sequins in the fused side here. So to get them onto the other side, you open up the part that was never fused in the first place. So that's when you scoop in the rest of the sequins here. Okay. Oh, I also forgot to mention that you need some Velcro dots. Sorry about that. You're just going to need one set of Velcro dots. Alright. So, here we have it. And then you would actually fuse up here as well, just to close that off. But at this point, I don't have a fuse tool, so I am going to have to use my double-sided tape. I don't know how this is gonna work, but uh, it's gonna be tricky getting the double-sided tape in here.
from end to end. you guys okay sequins are coming out yeah so this is a little tricky as you can see it would be so much easier with a fuse tool honestly then everything would be flat and I wouldn't have to be so cautious. Okay, so it looks like I can just about cut it off right there. All right. So if you don't want to go through this process here, I highly suggest that you get a fuse tool. And I've looked at Michael's and it looks like Michael's has discontinued the fuse tool. So that doesn't help one bit. And I looked on Amazon and it looks like the price has went up it is now about like $50 when I paid $20 for it last year something like that 30 even 30 I think I may have paid for it but yeah so I don't know how this is gonna work because <laughs> um, I didn't get that one piece there So, it doesn't look as pretty with the double-sided tape, that's for sure. It looks really cheaply made, but this is just to give you guys the gist of how it's made. So then, you would take a Velcro dot there. So I have some Velcro here, the bottom and the top. So what I've done is I've actually taken a full big Velcro dot and I've just cut it in half like a moon size. So what I would usually do is I would take some hot glue and I would glue both bottoms so that they're a lot more sturdy. So. How I place them is, I place them one on top of another, just so that I know that they're going to come down evenly on top of each other, and then I'll glue one side, and then I'll glue the other side. So yeah, I would not suggest that you use double-sided tape to do this shaker envelope because it just doesn't look as professional looking, I guess you could say. So you put your Velcro dot right there in the middle and then you would take the back of the other piece of Velcro off and then 
just bring the top closure down just like that and then if you want it to have a different look you would just take the velcro off here and just cut the sides so there's two different styles you can have you can either have it straight like this or you can have it like a trimmed edge here. So what you would do is you would start from this corner here and cut up so that you get an even um, cut. Okay, and then one more thing that you have to do is you have to cut off this white part here but do not cut the fuse line otherwise you're gonna have a huge disaster so just cut right beside that fuse line very carefully one wrong move and you're gonna have a mess okay so and I am going to cut from this corner up, just like that, and then you would fuse this part as well. So make sure that you have a surface underneath your fuse tool that you don't care to get ruined. So because when you fuse, it's going to stick to that surface. That means you have a really good fuse. So make sure it's something that you don't care about that gets ruined. So you would fuse this part and you would fuse this side here. And then you would tape it down. And this would be your paper envelope. So I'm not gonna shake it everywhere because my sides are open here. But it would slide into the closure here and then you would end up with something like this. So these are ones that I have already made that are properly done by the fuse tool. So you could decorate the sides with trim or whatever you want. So this is how it would look. You could even put a hole punch through this and dangle a tassel to it like I've done here. But make sure that you don't make the hole too big. Otherwise your sequins are going to fall out, obviously, right? So, and I would suggest not putting trim underneath like this gem mesh because it just gets kind of folded and crinkled under there and it doesn't lie flat but this is what they turn out to look like so I'll take the closure off and you can see that it falls into the flap there And it's just a bunch of fun. And then I've made this one. Yeah, so when you put trim around the sides, just make sure that it doesn't go past the opening here because they close a lot better and they lie flat. So, there you go. So I will link Lily's channel down below, Crafting with Liller. She does DIYs and just a bunch of everything. She's really neat to watch. So I highly suggest you go check her out and yeah, enjoy. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!